What is going on guys? So I decided, as you can see from the title of the video, that I am gonna be filming a video about the past. I thought that it'd be super cool to do a little video just about kinda how I got started in the fitness industry, you know, the Jersey Gangs, Dynamic, Jersey Juice Squad, whatever you wanna call us. Like just some old stories, how I met people, whatever the case might be. Um, so, that is what we're gonna get into today. It's gonna be a fun video, and then after that, I'm gonna uh, be putting up a workout of Dave and I. So, yeah, enjoy the video, guys, and I'm gonna get into the questions right now. I told you guys to ask me on IG, so let's get it. What was my motivation when I started in the gym? So my motivation, guys, it was really simple. It stemmed from just wanting to honestly perform better at my athletics and just being weak as fuck and skinny. So I was motivated, I was like, fuck, I don't wanna be skinny, I don't wanna be weak, I wanna get better at my sports. So that's what initially motivated me and then I just caught the bug uh, where I was like, I would be in the weight room, I'd be the last person in the weight room every fucking day for football. I'd be in there legitimately an hour afterwards still training because I caught the bug uh, and so I just, you know, I fell in love with obviously lifting weights, but my initial motivation was, you know, wanting to be better at sports, wanting to be bigger, and just wanting to be stronger and not be one of the smallest, weakest guys on uh, my sports team. Somebody said, what was the biggest turning point that made you believe you can make it in the fitness industry? So, the biggest turning point, I would say, okay, when I made my own YouTube channel, okay, and I started, you know, I got all this support on YouTube, I was like, wow, you know, I think I can make something out of it. Cause at first on Instagram, I was like, oh, you know, I'm getting some followers. I have like 10 K, but it's just, you know, you can't really, you know, you can't always just make something out of like a little tiny amount of followers on Instagram. So I thought to my, so I thought when my YouTube started blowing up and taking off and I wasn't just on Dave's videos anymore, I was like, I know I can make something out of this because you know, I have a close grit. I have, I have a close uh, knit community of people, you know, that are fucking with my stuff that come to me for knowledge, come to me for information, entertainment, so I can make something out of it. And I would say, I, I literally, I uh, borrowed like $1,300 off my friend to get a used Mac, gave him $100 in uh, interest essentially, <laughs> so that I could get this Mac a week before I got a paycheck from my car wash job at work. So that's, you know, I basically was working at a car wash, I, used to, I would edit on Dave's fucking computer or my mom's shitty computer, whatever. And so I decided, you know what, fuck it. Got my, uh, got my first Mac, used Mac for 1300 bucks plus that $100 interest. And damn airplane, mother of I got my own laptop and that's, you know, my YouTube started really taking off and that's when I knew I could make something out of it. I quit my job at the car wash and I was doing online coaching and I just started building from there basically. It's James from Rock Bottom story of all time that I ever met him. So I remember I was a freshman in high school. I was a freshman in high school. It was when I just started getting into the gym. So it was like the end of my freshman year. I was probably 16 at the time or 15, right? I was a freshman in high school and all the kids on my football team would always talk about the supplement called Double Dragon. It was a pro-hormone at the time. I don't even think you could fucking get it anymore, but it was a pro-hormone, a really potent one. And everyone would get it at rock bottom. Like this is where people would get pro-hormones, get uh, Double Dragon, right? So uh, essentially what I did was I rode my bike like three miles to rock bottom. I kind of I kind of walk in the door, I'm like snooping around, like what the fuck's going on in here? Like James was talking to um, one of our friends, his name, what we call him K, and uh, and our friend K was in there, he's a big ass motherfucker, he's also an IFBB pro. So they were in there talking, I just kind of walk in, I'm kind of a little awkward, like looking around at the protein, like oh, like whatever, like, and then I fucking walk up to the counter, I'm like, you know, asking about all the pro hormones, asking all these questions, like I fucking wanted to buy it, but I was kind of too scared. I'm kind of, I'm trying to make James like talk me off the fucking ledge and just, oh, there's no health problems, just buy it. Uh, and I ended up being scared as fuck and I didn't buy anything, but I went in there and that's why I talked to James and I was talking about pro hormones and all this shit. And that's kind of when my relationship with James started because I was asking a bunch of questions, looking at different supplements in the store. So it's kind of funny like looking back on it, but that's the first time I ever met him. And then Dave individually did the same thing because she had like, you know, Rock Bottom was like the premier supplement store in our area. So Dave pretty much had the same story as me, but for whatever supplement he wanted to look for. And I, like I said, I didn't buy a pro hormone then or for honestly years, but 
I uh, I went in there looking around for that, trying to ask about them. So that is the number one OG James story. My most memorable PR, fuck, I would have to say, and you guys are gonna know this one if you're OGs, would be the PR that I hit with Quinn and uh, Dave. So it was a 585 pound deadlift and I hit it in Island Gym with Quinn and Dave. I'll try to put the clip up here. I should be able to find it and put the clip up here, but if not, um, just look up 585 deadlift PR Dylan McKenna and it'll be that one and so yeah that was a fucking nostalgic I was in Island I was like you know what I'm gonna pull 585 today and I just went in I fucking pulled it and Dave and Quinn were there and it was just epic so that was most memorable did I go to college good question so the answer is no as you guys kind of heard previously worked at the car wash directly after high school started my online coaching business and then it started taking off sponsors started coming in mainly my own business started taking off and I, I just, you know, directly out of high school, I capitalized on growing my business rather than going to college. So short answer is no, I uh, did not attend university. That is also probably why my spelling is fucking of a toddler. However, I can build a business and I do have other talents. I do have other skills. I'm just not, uh, I'm not very good at uh, <laughs> grammar and that could be partly due to that. I feel about how I used to eat awful and mindset back like back in the day, I guess, compared to now. So back in the day, my sole goal was get fucking bigger, literally add size to my body in any way possible. And so I didn't even understand about health, really. I was a young fucking guy. I just wanted to add size and add strength. So I would just eat anything in my fucking way. Like if there was literally a fucking paper towel roll, I would fucking eat it, put salt on it. Then I would eat fucking 30 donuts, eat fucking McDonald's. McDonald's, anything I could really get my goddamn, anything I get my hand, anything I could get my damn hands on, I would do, I would eat. So I felt like shit. I had horrible mental health, horrible gut health, bad anxiety, fucking acne, felt like shit. But I did obviously get strong from it. I obviously, you know, I put muscle on because I was getting in calories, getting in carbs, protein, etc. But it was not optimal. I feel so much better, more mental clarity, no acne, just healthier now. Uh, obviously, I stay, you know, really lean you around at this point and I just feel much better uh, now. <laughs> I'm gonna answer three more questions. So the next one is gonna be how did I meet David? Now, actually, gotta take the jacket off. It's hot as fuck up here. Yeah, all right. So I met, how did I meet Dave? I met Dave because everyone my freshman year of high school or sorry, sophomore year when I came back to high school, it was like, dude, like everyone knew that I lifted weights. So like, have you heard of this kid, David Lade? He's big, he lifts weights, all this stuff. So who the fuck is this kid? Who is this guy? So I see him in the hallway one day and I'm like, okay, this is this dude. So I, then I became friends with a friend of his who also lifted. And then through that mutual friend, me and Dave just met in school one day and we talked and then we ended up uh, scheduling like a gym workout so we ended up lifting together one day and that's when we like really got to know each other and I remember we basically lifted at Island Gym and then we walked to his old house which was literally right near Island Gym his mom owned the house at the time it wasn't when he was renting it his mom owned it at the time and was living in it and I remember meeting like his mom and uh, his little brothers were in there like fucking jumping all over me and uh, yeah we just kind of hit it off I think we like ate some food there and then from that point on we just became best friends ever since like every day we started you know texting hanging out training we were both so 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 into the fucking gym to the point where like we just hit it off because that's all we wanted to do and talk about and no one else that we knew wanted to talk about the gym or gave a fuck about the gym like we did so it was like it was nice in a sense to have a friend that was on the same page so that's kind of how we met next one is how did i meet quinn now this is a great question integral uh individual in the jersey gang so Quinn and I met, honestly, when, when I was in middle school, early middle school, like he, he, he legitimately lived in the town over from me. His house was probably 10 minutes away from mine uh, growing up. I didn't like, I didn't hang out with him or know him well until like, you know, uh, sophomore, junior or high school because he was two or three grades above me. So yeah, he's like two or three years older as well. So, uh, you know, he was older, right? I, I knew of him because he played football. He was always fucking really good at football and uh, yeah, so I knew of him because of that. We would play some pickup football games here and there. Uh, he was in my cousin's grade. I knew of him, right? And then Dave and him became friends through lifting because Quinn was like the biggest motherfucker in the school. Like, Quinn was 
absolutely massive. Like, you know, everyone at the school is like, this is the biggest motherfucker. So Dave and I would always like idolize Quinn and be like, who, like this dude's insane. So Dave became friends with him because of that, because Dave was obsessed with the fact that Quinn was the biggest dude in school. We, we want to know what the fuck was going on. So essentially, uh, yeah, Dave and Quinn became kind of friends. And then through that, Quinn and I already knew each other. We became friends. And that's kind of how that started. So Dave started, you know, talking to Quinn, being friends with Quinn in high school. And then I uh, started, you know, like, like obviously due to me and Dave being really good friends, we started being, I started hanging around Quinn and then we all hit it off. We were all really good friends. All right, last question. What was my favorite video to film um, from back in the day? So hands down, and I will link this video unless I forget to look it up is the when we did the gym like dave got his first gym shark package and they sent clothing for quinn or sorry not quinn quinn was sponsored by another company for steve and myself so they sent clothes for me dave and steve dave was the only one sponsored at the time then steve got sponsored then i got sponsored but at the time it was just dave they sent him a box for all of us and uh it was so much clothes like i was a broke high school student and to me i mean it was literally like christmas times 10 fucking gym shark clothing like i got like i think 20 items of gym shark clothing when i had literally no real workout clothes like i wore raggedy shit to the gym like old you know stuff from five years ago so that felt amazing and just getting those clothes and then we trained and that was a fun video to just film because we fucking unboxed all that so that was probably my favorite video but anyway guys enjoy the video that you're about to see the workout clips go watch it subscribe like comment etc also i'm going to be doing more sit down topic videos on certain topics uh to give you guys some really good uh, knowledge and information not only not just like entertaining content i want to transition into that i'm not just going to let my youtube go to waste built this motherfucker over the last few years so anyway i will see you guys in the next video enjoy the workout footage and if you guys want to see some if you guys want to see any specific videos, comment down below. Mr. Cheddar. What up? Can we stop and get a coffee? Like anywhere? Yeah, there's like probably a gas station like right near the gym. Super gas station? Gross, it's got like a Starbucks. You just pull up to the Starbucks, I'll run in, yeah. I just need you a think block. Starbucks is better than a gas station? It's not. Well, I've been bro programmed and conditioned by their marketing, yeah, by the reptilian better. marketing team. Star I so. mean, uh, Dunkin' Donuts is a lot better. I'll do Dunkin'. I'll do anything. You like, uh, like, I don't know where there is like one. I'm pretty sure Dunkin' actually closes at like four. I don't know. Wolf. Do you want to look up if there's...